I vlogged. It has been so long. It is Tuesday, January 9th. Oh, I don't even remember the last time I picked up my camera. I went to Haiti for the holidays and now I'm back. While I was in Haiti, I got myself a new pair of glasses. Still not too sure how I feel about them, but that's what we have now. I am currently doing the very last of my packing before I officially move to Montreal. And today is Tuesday. I'm either gonna be leaving Friday or Saturday. I think I'm buying my plane ticket tonight. The last thing, like the last major thing that I really had to do was to ship my vehicle from Orlando, Florida to Montreal, Quebec. Order is placed. I basically just need to wait for my car to be picked up, but I'm not gonna be the one doing that. I'm gonna drop my car off at a friend's and he's gonna handle that. Thank God for my friends. Now I'm just doing the very last of my packing. I have one load of laundry because when we were coming back from Haiti, my mom decided to put her alonso and her piquelis and all that chic thigh stuff in my suitcase. Obviously broke, got all over my clothes. So I'm washing them right now. It's looking like I'm gonna be going with three suitcases. Other than that though, the rest of my stuff is already in Montreal. I had my boxes shipped. My sister was here. I sent her over with one suitcase my mom is actually surprising my sister for her birthday her birthday is this saturday january 13th and so my mom is going to be coming with me to surprise my sister over there so she's going to be bringing an extra suitcase with her which is going to bring me to a total of three suitcases if i include hers and the suitcase that i have over there with my sister and then the four boxes that i sh that i shipped i guess the next time that i'm gonna see you guys i'm gonna be Probably heading on a plane unless something crazy happens.
I'm 27 years old or that I don't exercise or don't stretch enough and that's why two hours I don't know how long it's been actually it was delivered it's been three hours so yeah is it due to the fact that I'm 27 or is it due to the fact that I've never stretched enough and like haven't been active enough in my life and that's why putting up this piece of furniture at 27 is really starting to hurt my back let me know Good job. No, I am the picture. Oliver, never oh, you don't need no man. Too responsible. No, that's not true. Dig it us. Excuse me, Excuse me, my lord. 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 Excuse It's also the next day, by the way. <clears throat> so we're making progress. <sighs> Yay, me. We did it, y'all. We've done it. Hi, friend. So today is Monday, January 29th. And I'm all done up because today was actually my very first day of training. I haven't had a job in like four years. Total honesty. The last time I had a job was when I was in Canada. Obviously I left Canada, I was in Haiti for a couple months and then I went to the States to go to school. And so I've been a full-time student since then. And now I am back working. I mean, I am working. It's just not like my real life job yet. And so I got myself a little interpreter job. I say a little interpreter job, but the preparations for this job has actually have actually been like so demanding and so time consuming it's a job really and truly and i work 10 to 6 which aren't great hours but i do work from home which is what i wanted especially for the winter it's january 29th i've been in canada now for exactly 17 17 days i moved like i literally landed here january 12th Ever since then, it's been like my sister's birthday. I got some footage of that. Not a whole lot, but I did get some footage. <sighs> oh goodness, I did get some footage of the, um, of like what we did for her birthday. And then obviously I've been here and like, hold on a second. I put my bacon to cook. My stove is not on, I'll be right back. But yeah, 
there was just a lot going on there. So I was staying with my sister for a little bit and then I went home and packed up and like finally unpacked all my stuff. Got myself a dresser, showed you guys a little bit of that. So far though, being in Canada, being back in Canada has been really interesting. The cold has not bothered me that much. I will say that like every time I step outside, I complain and I'm like, I can't believe I did this to myself. I put myself back in this situation. But I will say that honestly, I'm, I'm in such a different headspace than I was when I first came here. I don't look at the camera, I keep looking at myself. But the cold doesn't bother me at all. I'm so much more positive than I've literally ever been before. And I'm saying, and I keep saying this because I literally like surprise myself at how much I've changed as a person and how much more positive I am. Just how much more of an optimist than I am than like I've ever been before. And it's really crazy to me because it's like, wow, I can't believe this is me. Like, I can't believe I'm the person that's like, you can't like focus on the negative, like bad things continue to happen. You know what I mean? Bad things are never gonna not happen to you, but you can't, you can't focus on the negative and forget about all the positive things that happen in your life, right? Because those are also there and that is part of life. Anyway, point is that ever since I have become this person being here in the cold, it's all right for me. I know also like what I need to do. It's not very sunny out here. So it's incredibly important for me to like make sure that I have my windows or like my blinds open in my room or that I have some type of exposure to light because if I don't, this that is when, you know, I slip into like negative things and like just a negative state of being. But so far, things have been really, really good. Like, I have no complaints. Obviously, I found a job. I had interviewed for this job before I even left Orlando, and I was pretty sure that I had it before I even left Orlando. But, like, all, like, finalizations and contracts and, like, background checks and stuff were done once I came here. And then I got confirmation, like, okay, you got the job and you're starting training on the 29th once I was here. So, that's fun. Um... And I've also like decided that I want to be more social. I've talked about that before on here that I want to be more social. I actually, speaking of like things that I've talked about on here, I had the craziest chance encounter. And if you're watching this, hi. But I ran into someone that I knew a long time ago and it was really good to see her. And I was a little bit nervous when I saw her because I was nervous that like I hadn't seen her or spoken to her in so long that like, you know it would have been awkward or whatever but I feel like it was it was good it was a positive interaction and she was telling me that she watches my videos which is crazy because I haven't seen her talk to her in four years and she was like yeah I watch your videos like I keep up and you know like sure I'm not all that consistent numbers aren't great but it's like damn people are paying attention and people are listening and that's crazy to me because it's like once I post something, I post it and then I kind of forget about it, you know? Not really like processing the fact that it's on the internet for people to see, you know? But that was really nice though. And it makes me kind of want to be more personal because I feel like people are paying attention. Like I'm talking to a person, not just a camera. And that's really nice. I still am looking to like obviously it's been like a little bit over two weeks but i'm still looking to like <clears throat> find my routine and stuff like i need to exercise so bad i've been eating poutine left right and center it's disgusting but it's not disgusting it's actually delicious but i do need see my stove is on now my baking is cooking i need to find like where i'm gonna go for pilates because i have decided that i'm gonna do pilates figure out like my workout routine i also like i said want to be like more social and really like enjoy my life and enjoy the fact or take advantage of the fact that i live in a country where like there is snow and there are these types of activities um and just like live life and be happy i feel like i don't know if i've said this before but i feel like i've spent the last like two to two years to like this past year for sure like 2023 was really about like becoming a certain type of person in 2024 is about being this kind of person and so yeah i'm still working on setting up my routine but now that i've started work you know i'll be able to like basically schedule everything around that and that's super duper exciting and i think this right now is where i'm going to 
to end the moving vlog. I feel like I didn't get a whole lot of footage, but you know, I wanted you guys to know like where we are, what's going on. And I think I'm ready now, starting January 29th, to like get back on creating content for YouTube. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything you want to see from me. I do want to share with you guys like everything, exploring the city, like finding new hobbies and making new friends. Like how do you make new friends when you're not in school and you don't work in person, like you work remotely? I have to figure that out. Make sure you stay tuned so you can see how that goes and obviously how you know still incorporating all the things that i have learned like in therapy all about positive living becoming my best self in this era of my life we can do all of that together right so with that being said thank you so much for watching if you like this video at all please make sure to give me a like and let me know down in the comments um let me know what your favorite part was let me know if there's anything that you want to see from me and make sure to subscribe there's also that whole like bell notification thing if you want to see if you want to know every time that i post you probably should that way you know when to come back thanks so much for bearing with me and for tagging along and for watching my videos i appreciate you so very much and i will see you guys next time bye Take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself for help, but nothing seems to work on you, yeah, you, you always make me feel like, oh yeah, you, you never leave my thoughts alone, yeah, you, you're the reason I'm going out of my mind, I just can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, maybe you're brave, boy, you're my weakness Giving we take the love that we make It's my favorite drug Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain holds you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you Yeah.